Hi, this is Katina. So today I am going to unbox this E Star clarinet. It's the ECL 400 Commander Ebonite Silver Keys B flat wind band clarinet. That's a lot to say. All right, so we're going to open it up and see what we've got in here. And right away, we've got a strap, like a luggage strap, so that you can carry the case, and then a mouthpiece and a lid, mouthpiece cap, excuse me, and a ligature right here. So we have an inverted sort of pleather ligature. All right, opening up. We have the case, nice and sturdy. The case, and then the, these are the loops for your strap so that you can sling it over your shoulder. I'm going to open up this front part right here and see what we've got. So we've got a pair of white gloves, which you're not going to really need <laughs> when you play the clarinet. If you do want to wear your white gloves while you play, you're going to need to cut the fingertips out so that you can still cover the holes with that fleshy part of your finger right there. All right, we have some cork grease. We have a swab. And the swab has the weight covered, which is really nice, so it won't scratch the inside of your clarinet when you're swabbing out. We've got two, I pull that by accident. So here is a clarinet stand. Let's put that together, and we're gonna actually use that this way, and you never should do this. You don't have to put your clarinet down on the bell when you're not playing it. So you put this down, and the bell of the clarinet goes right on top right there. This looks like it is polishing cloth for those silver plated keys. And then we have some reeds. Okay, three reeds. I'm going to go ahead and open up the clarinet case right here. Everything's nicely covered in plastic, so we're going to unwrap it as we go. So I'm going to start from the bottom. Um, we've got a bell right there with the logo on it. And here's our bottom joint. This is a nice, heavy feeling clarinet, so that usually indicates um, better construction with these uh, clarinets that aren't the name brands. All right, we've got a, a cushion here for the thumb rest. I'm gonna go ahead and put the, the bell on, and that way, as I unpack, I can use this handy clarinet stand right there. Okay. So we've got our clarinet stand going. Here is our upper joint. Right there. Put these together. So far the corks look good and the pads look good. They're standard pads. And we have two barrels. I'm going to go ahead and use the longer barrel. And we have the two different sizes for intonation purposes. So you use the longer barrel when you're sharp and the shorter barrel when you're flat. And then here is the mouthpiece. It comes with another mouthpiece cap and another ligature. So this is just your standard run-of-the-mill metal, metal ligature and this is a stock mouthpiece with a mouthpiece patch. I'm going to try it with the mouthpiece here but I usually recommend using your own mouthpiece when you play clarinets. And especially when you're trying out clarinets because you want to know how it, it feels compared to what you're used to. Um, if you've never played the clarinet before and you don't have your own mouthpiece, then it's great that it comes with a mouthpiece. I recommend trying other mouthpieces later on. Okay, so I have the mouthpiece on and the reed. I want to show you a little bit of an issue with the reed. The reed is not covering the tip of the mouthpiece on the rails here. So I would just go ahead and use your own reeds that you play with and instead of their reeds. It's nice that they throw them in there. You get to start playing right away, but you're going to want a better quality reed on here. So it's flat at the top, most likely because of this really light reed on here. Um, and that sound has that sort of very uh, spread, kind of brand new clarinet player sound, but that's a three reed. I usually use a four. So I'm going to toss a four on here just so you can see the difference between those two reeds. Um, this reed covers more of the mouthpiece. Do you see that? No, they're not showing as much black in there. So that's a better coverage for the reed, so it's going to vibrate better. 
So right off the bat, that four reed is too stuffy and it is resistant, it's hard to play. So I would probably go with a three and a half with this mouthpiece. All right, now I'm going to switch to my mouthpiece so I can get a better idea of how the clarinet sounds. Okay, I'm back with my own setup. So I have a Bakun mouthpiece on here, a Silverstein ligature and a D'Addario four reed. <laughs> scale that I usually do. It sounds okay so far. It's not a bad sounding clarinet. I'm going to do the big test now, which is the intonation test. So I'm going to do a screen flow recording of real time what the intonation looks like. Okay, so now I'm going to use the tuner to see how the intonation is. When I play the notes, you'll see that it says something different than what I'm playing. So I'm going to start on F. It'll say E flat. That's because the tuner's in concert pitch. <laughs> exceptions. C over the break was pretty sharp, D was sharp, B flat here was very sharp as well. So those would be things to watch out for when playing this clarinet. It was sharp in the altissimo range except for that high F which was flat, which is not unusual. That's a voicing thing. But with my own mouthpiece, that is what I was finding the tendencies of this clarinet were. Now, I did go back and do it with the mouthpiece that they sent with this instrument and it's crazy sharp, very, very sharp, 20 to 40 cents sharp, which is very high for America. My recommendation would be if you were to get this clarinet to do another mouthpiece if you're playing in the United States. Always spend time with a tuner to find out what the tendencies of the instrument are. If you're playing in ensembles, just be aware of those intonation problems within this clarinet. If you're playing by yourself, no problems. You don't have to worry about it as much, but it's good training for your ear to have the idea of where the intonation should be. This is not a bad sounding clarinet. So far it seems pretty sturdy. Um, there's even a nice little cushion here on your thumb rest. Thanks for watching. Comments, questions, post them below. This is the E-Star Clarinet. Bye.